welcome back to another video. So as you can see, I'm jumping on a different trampoline right now. Probably a trampoline you guys haven't seen because this is Tom's old trampoline. This is about six or seven years old, so they wanted to get rid of it. So they asked me if I want to take it to my house, and I said yes. So last week, we went to Tom's, packed this up, and brought it to my house. It's another day on the job. <laughs> we just got a new trampoline in the backyard this is tom's old one just giving it to us to have forever now we're going to attempt to put it in between the web and warehouse and the spring free it probably won't fit but we're going to at least attempt to do it all we'll have to put it over there We're good. Originally the springs were crossed on the trampoline, but then it felt way too tight because these springs are rusty. We wanted to put the Webin Warehouse springs on. As you can see, the Webin Warehouse springs are a bit too big, so we decided to just put them back to normal. It's really early in the morning right now, so I just decided to have a quick trampoline session and try and fix up my rotation and my tuck. I realized my rotation and tuck is like really good on the ground, but when I bring my rotation and tuck to the trampoline, for some reason it's just really slow and I'm not putting much effort into the tuck. So starting from today, I've decided to do a lot more trampoline and try and train my rotation and tuck, and that'll just make it even better for ground. So at the moment, my trampoline rotation is really slow but if you guys have any tips it would be really helpful if you could comment them down below but the main reason of this video is obviously you guys saw the thumbnail and title I finally did my dream trick which I've already posted on my Instagram if you haven't seen it go check it out I made a really nice edit to it but for this video I'm just gonna be showing you guys all the raw attempts and the sesh I had before it it was a really good session it was out of nowhere actually just had a sleepover at my house with Deacon Brody and Shay and then Deacon Brody left the next day and me and Shay decided to go to his house I actually got a new spring free and I love spring free so I hopped on and then I actually did a web stood around backflip off it and I got heaps of height so I was like you know what I might as well just throw the double back and um After that super close fail happened, it was pretty much like a round off double layout or a double puck landing on my butt. Luckily I turned out or I would have landed on my head, which was pretty intense. But after that, I had absolutely no fear for the trick anymore. So I just started spamming them after that. I did I think four more double backs after that. and I wanted to keep the shoes on because it looked better. Yeah, so that made it like two times harder. Other than that, I am so happy about the round off double backflip. If you guys could subscribe, like, and share this video, also go check out my Instagram. If you guys want to go check out the edit I did for it, my Instagram is right here. You guys can go check that out, leave a like, share it around. I want as much people to see that I did my dream trick. Well, it's one of my dream tricks. I have a lot more dream tricks that I'll hopefully be doing in the future. And yeah, I just really wanted to announce with you guys that I did a round off double back. Unfortunately, I wasn't vlogging whilst I was doing it. I kind of just got my phone out, actually recorded on my phone, I turned it into a vlog vlog for you guys here because I know you guys wanted it. <laughs> I'll try 
that again. That's going to be it for this video guys. If you enjoyed watching me fail my dream trick and then land my dream trick, please show the fits and respect by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. Also turn on those post notifications and I'll see you guys in the next one.